Hi friends, Sarah here with The Holy Mess. This is day three of the Faith Over Fear Bible reading plan, and today we are reading Psalm 46. I hope that you are doing well today. It is snowing a little bit here. Oh my goodness, I'm ready to be over the snow, but um, hopefully just a little dusting and then we'll be done with it. So um, I pray that you're doing well. There is a lot going on in the world right now as I'm recording this video. Um, some states are starting to open back up or will be opening back up very soon. Um, I know some of the southern states um, are going to be lifting a lot of restrictions and I think we're all waiting and wondering to see how that goes for them, how it might go for some of us. We're also recognizing that as things open up they're not going to look the same as what we are used to, that opening up doesn't mean going back to normal. It might mean, um, you know, some smaller group gatherings. It might mean some things are open and some things are closed. So I would love to hear from you in the comments. How are you doing with all of that? You know, I know I've been feeling a lot of up and down feelings, a lot of mixed feelings. I live in um, New York State, and so um, we're the biggest... Um, amount of viruses have been. Um, thankfully, I'm on the other side of the state, not in New York City, but um, we know for sure that we will be on strict restrictions for at least a couple more weeks. And so, um, you know, I have really mixed feelings when I hear about other places opening. Part of me is really jealous. Um, I would like to get my hair cut. Thank you very much. I would like to go back to church. Um, you know, some sit down in a restaurant, you know, whatever. But then another part of me feels nervous and anxious about that. Like, is it too soon? We've been giving up so much for this last month, month and a half. And then is that gonna, um, you know, somehow change that in a negative way? So I don't know about you, but, um, but so many feelings and, you know, a part of me has adjusted to our life here at home. It's not the greatest, but then again, there've been some really nice things and feeling, um, mixed feelings about going back to driving all over the place and running all over and not having as much family time or things like that. So, um, so I'd love to hear how you're doing with some of those thoughts and feelings. All right, let's read our passage for today, which is Psalm 46 verses one through six. And for those of you who are doing scripture writing in your um, notebooks, uh, I've been doing it every day. I know some of these passages are a little bit longer, a little long to write, but please do take the time. I think there's something about writing out God's word in your own handwriting that is so powerful. And when I was choosing the verses, a lot of times I had one or two verses I was focused on, but then I'm like, oh, I just got to add a few more. They're so good. And then I would add a few more. So, okay. So Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way, and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her, she will not fall. God will help her at the break of day. Nations are in uproar, kingdoms fall, he lifts his voice, the earth melts. Wow. Love these passages. Love, love, love this passage. Um, and I think it's so applicable to what we have going on right now. God is our refuge and strength, your ever-present help in trouble. Let me say that again so that it soaks into your soul. God is your refuge. God is your strength. God is your ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, you do not need fear. You do not need to be afraid. Though the earth give way, though the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam. This last summer, I had the opportunity to take part in a national youth gathering for our Lutheran church. So cool. There are like 20,000 teenagers and adults at this gathering. We were in um, Minnesota this year for it. It's every three years in our church. And I, I wish I could just like give you a piece of what it is like to be with that many people worshiping God. And this was the theme verse this last year. And um, they would play it at the beginning of our gatherings. And I mean, I, I still, I have these chills right now. Like the kids were screaming and shouting and clapping and raising their hands and adults and 
praising, truly praising God as this verse was um, read, and it was just so cool. And I feel like, um, first of all, right now, I'm feeling just incredibly thankful that I had that opportunity. If that would have been scheduled for this year, it would have had to have been canceled. So I'm so, so thankful that we got to have that youth gathering, and I pray that in a couple of years, when it's scheduled again, we're, we're able to do those types of gatherings again. Um, but, um, but I think every time for the rest of my life, when I read this chapter, I'm going to remember that youth gathering and just that mountaintop experience. And I think it's a little piece of heaven. I think that's what heaven is going to be like when all of us are worshiping God. So that just gives me these spiritual chills. I just absolutely love that. But then the other thing I was thinking of as I was reading this is uh, our family just went to Niagara Falls the other day, and I took video of it. I'll post a link to the video so you can see it, and it is just such a powerful place. The power of that water moving, it's beautiful, it's majestic, it's scary, it's, it's so, so powerful. And what I want to encourage you with today is that this God, this incredibly powerful God is inside of you because you have the Holy Spirit, because you have Jesus Christ as your savior, that powerful God is at work in your life. So whatever you have that's going on that you are afraid of, you are overwhelmed about, you are feeling anxious about, I want you to remember this passage today and remember that that powerful God, that power, powerful God that um, rules the mountains, rules the water, the waters that roar and foam that created Niagara Falls, that God is at work inside of your life and he will give you absolutely everything you need, everything you need because you have Jesus Christ as your savior. The God who created the universe is at work inside of you. So again, let me give you these words today. Let them soak into your soul. God is your refuge and strength. God is your ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, you do not need fear. You do not need fear because God is at work inside of you. I hope that you have a beautiful day. I would love to hear in the comments about what you're thinking about how God is working in you in this passage, which is Psalm 46, 1 through 6. And I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.